Okay, imagine you have four bowls, okay, four bowls, and three scoops of ice cream, okay? Can you tell me how many bowls of ice cream can you make? Like you put the scoops on the bowls and how many of those, yeah? I'll give you three seconds. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, of course you can make three bowls of such ice cream and one such bowl will be left over, yes? Or in other words, you could say that because there is one less scoop, you couldn't make a bowl of ice cream, right? That means this scoops are limiting the product, the bowls of ice cream, okay? You, you get uh, where I'm going, right? The scoops are the limiting reagent, okay? Okay, okay, hold on. Let's do some actual, you know, chemistry now, okay? Okay, let's move on to an equation, okay? Suppose you have two moles of hydrogen and one mole of oxygen, and that is making two moles of water, okay? Okay, two moles, one mole, and two moles, okay? Now, imagine you are given only 0 0.5 mole of oxygen, okay? That means you have less oxygen than, than is required, okay? That means you'll have some more amount of hydrogen, okay? And that means our product will be less, okay? It will be less than two moles. And what that means, this oxygen is limiting our product, okay? And this is what the limiting reagent is. You know, it limits the product because it is available less in amount, okay? Okay, so that was the intro for the limiting reagent. I'll be making a few more videos. So click here for the next one.